So now we're going to talk about tone of voice. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Something like 7% of all communication is what you're saying, whereas 55% is body language, and the, the other 38% is tone of voice. So there's a huge emphasis on how you're saying things. Think about the phrase, man, forget you, versus <laughs> man, forget you. It's two different messages. One is saying, forget you, I don't like you, leave me alone. The other is saying, haha, forget you, we're buddies, we're pals, we're laughing along. So there's a huge emphasis on tone of voice. Now, what you want to do with your tone of voice is you want to be confident in what you're saying, even if you're not confident that you know what you're saying. Uh, basically, fake it till you make it. You, If you come to a seller with an offer and you're kind of like, well, you know, I kind of need to be at $45,000. They're going to be like, no, no way. Go away, man. Leave me alone. You don't even know what you're doing. Whereas you go and you say, you know what? Based on all the repairs and what I know about the area and, you know, previous experience, I need to be at $45,000 for this property. They're going to be more like, well, you know, it's not really what I wanted, but he sounds like he's sure of himself. And, you know, they're more apt to open up to you. People like confidence. People will always follow people who are confident. So you got to be sure of yourself in your tone of voice. And you always have to make sure that you've got a respectful tone of voice, but still one that asserts your position of where you stand during the negotiation or during the conversation or whatever it, whatever it is. Joke when you need to joke, be serious when you need to be serious, but always have your tone of voice needs to be fluctuating all the time. You can't just be monotone the entire time because, well, we all know that monotone is boring. So uh, a huge emphasis on tone of voice. Make sure that you practice your tone of voice, even with your friends and family. It's something that you can practice, something that you can do, something that I've helped get me through a lot of conversations and a lot of deals.